Welcome back. Well, it seems we found out what um, the bartender met, meant when someone, uh, when he said someone said they tried to kill us and make it look like an accident. Fortunately, Maureen here patched us up and she is also patching up our bike. Free, apparently. But she's gonna need some parts that we have to find. She's got her hands all over my bike. Jealous? <laughs> nah, she's got a wrench. Okay. Nah, she's got a wrench. No abusing women in this game. What's that photograph? Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. I'm sure that information won't be relevant in any way. Who do we have here? Wish this gas can was full. Would make things easier, but it's also a nice way of carrying gas. Better than trying to hold it in your hands, anyway. Uh... Ah, right. I was standing in front of it. Hmm. This hose smells like gas. A hose is also useful. Couldn't find it because I was standing in front of it. Okay, so we got a gas can and a hose and no keys again apparently. Wish this gas can was full. Mm -hmm. This hose smells like gas. Mm -hmm. Same descriptions as when we looked at them on the screen. Okay. Well, let's go find some gas, some forks, and some blowtorches. Okay, one will do probably. Oh, good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. Is that reporter? I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Yeah, she's uh, got a real heart of gold. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen. I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Sure. You've been a big help. You'd think that you'd have to get the paper or something when she's putting it up there, but... Not really. That lying bitch! Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Yeah, but you probably wouldn't want to print it. Mailbox. It's empty. Well, that's useful. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. You don't? I'm not putting my lips on that. 
Yeah, again, no special message for that. All right, there's the town and all of the um, things we will need are around here somewhere. We can go back to the toaster repair shop. This appears to be the junkyard, and there's that petrol tower. And there's a trailer where the guy who owns the junkyard is supposed to be. The hell? Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. If somebody's doing welding down there, then, um... That might be Maureen's blowtorch. I'm not putting my lips on that. I just want to yell down there, Hey, that's Maureen's blowtorch, you, you bastard! Steel bars in the glass. Oh, it's glass as well. Steel bars in the glass. Can we go down the chimney? Probably not. <laughs> Smells like burning metal down there. Hello? <laughs> that didn't work. Hmm. No. Is that a coincidence that he stopped welding for two seconds? A sandbox. We didn't have time to go play in the sandbox. I'm still gonna do it though. Apparently this guy has a dog. Aha, uh -huh. and doesn't clean his sandbox very often. I'm not putting my lips on that. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. All right then. Sandbags. You still think to have it a trailer? Probably all that's holding this dump up. Possibly. They just fall apart. Locked, but flimsy looking. So you got an elevator in there? Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? I got a guy coming to look at my yard. So blow! Hey, you lousy This is important. Not to me, you crazy looking hood. Now beat it! You knock for a reason or you- Let me in. Ha! Ha ha ha! Good one, punk. Get away from my door, you bonehead punk. You stick around long enough and maybe they'll pick you up with a trash. I'm about to roll this tin can. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Good. I've been meaning to report a stolen welding torch. Eh. Hey, dirtbag. I ain't home. Get a life, you loser. What do I have to do to get rid of you? Hey, you lousy Well, that doesn't seem to be working. And he goes back down again. Can I kick the door in? That works. But, no sign of an elevator. Oh, that's actually it's the drawer. With steel brackets. It's locked up with steel brackets. 
Looks like a cabinet to me. Listen to the lyrics of this song, by the way. He's singing about being the last man left alive. <laughs> It's empty, but there's something hanging on the door. A lockpick. Lock pick. It's locked up with steel brackets. Well, maybe we can pick those. A lockpick won't help there. Or maybe not. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. His decor oh. has a strong carnival. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Refrigerator. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. Yeah. There's a nasty looking T-bone in here. Steak. Always helpful. But no sign of how we can actually get down from here. If only we could um, get him to show us, or at the very least get in here while the elevator is upstairs. There is actually a way to do that. Let's knock on the door first. Get away from my door, you bonehead punk! Because now he is standing what behind. What do I have to do to get rid of you? The door? That took care of him. This view defines true beauty. As in it being the opposite of that, I suppose. I think he's had enough. I wanted to search him. I'm not putting my lips on that. Can't blame you there. I think he's had enough. And look at that. The locked up cabinet was actually the elevator. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Well, he said it was art. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. <laughs> that would make a good mailbox post in hell. Yeah, this guy better not give up his day job. I'm not putting my lips on that. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Okay. But look at that! A blowtorch. Better hustle this back to Mo. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Okay, well that's one thing down. Two to go. I'm guessing this guy isn't going to be too happy about it. There's uh, some sort of shop down there. Is he still lying out cold here? Yes. I don't think there's anything else we need downstairs. I know what that is. Least offensive of show. Not that that says much. Not a bad version, really. Can't get up there. 
Can't get up there. What the hell is that? Ouch. Yeah. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. I guess there's nothing else here. That's kind of a weird fancy setup for uh, a trailer. But Todd was also the owner of the junkyard. And somehow I have the feeling he's not going to help us get in there. And we still need to look there for a pair of forks. We'll have to see if we can find a way around that in the next video.